everybody. Welcome to New Day Northwest. I'm Kim Holcomb in for Margaret, who is taking a much-deserved vacation. Today we have got an absolutely packed show, including a local YouTube sensation who's on her way to getting her own TV show. Plus, he is basically the inventor of the infomercial. You remember him as the Juice Man, but now he's called the Juice Daddy. Jay Cordich is here. And from trashing the dress to seeing each other before the ceremony, we're talking with Washington's top wedding photographer about five trends brides are following to break convention. Susie, our audience coordinator, is actually standing in for Tracy, who is also on vacation today. Yes. Do you remember the Juice Man? I do remember the Juice Man. And I remember him as, well, when Jim Carrey did the Juice Man. Yes, lots of people remember that. Right, on In Living Color. Yes, yes. yes. Well, we have the actual Juice Man here today, which I'm is very so exciting. Glad. Although, I would have to say, when Jim Carrey's imitating you, isn't that a compliment, no matter what he's doing? You know you've made it at yeah. that point, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm also... waiting for him to do me. <laughs> well, <Wait>. I... <laughs> we'll, we'll send him a letter, see if yeah. he'll do that. I'm also excited about this wedding photography segment, right. because my pictures are only eight years old now, but they seem totally right. dated. So I want to hear what's new and going we on. We have some of your pictures. Yeah, fact, oh, we I do. Think, yeah, yeah I kind of got bamboozled into bringing these oh. in, because you were supposed to bring some in too, Susie, and you did not. Yeah. There was a little problem. Those, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, they were great. Just they like were great. yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> eight years ago yesterday, yeah. Well, here, and I've been thinking about this because of this wedding photographer we're having on today. My parents decided that they didn't want to spend money on photographs. Oh. And so I, they thought, oh, your brother, they said, your brother's such a great photographer. Mm. He's a good photographer. He's not a wedding photographer. And yeah. if I, I, you know, looking back now, I don't have much at all. Hindsight. And I, you're right. And I, that's where you spend your money. So I'm kind of sad in the way, looking at yours, that I don't have those fabulous pictures. And I would say, that's where you spend your money. At. But you have made it work all these years regardless. Well, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping <laughs> the photographs didn't mean anything serious since I'll be celebrating my 26th wedding anniversary on Wednesday. Years. Yeah. That's something to celebrate. I was 10. <laughs> oh, no, I'm 10. But I'm hoping this is a good enough gift for my husband. This like shout out right here. There I love you. you. Go. Let's give him some applause, you guys, so that that can be 26 <laughs> years. <laughs> Well, speaking of weddings, the biggest trend in photography these days is something called trash the dress. After the wedding, brides let loose in their gown, whether it's hitting the slopes for snowboarding, no kidding, or jumping into the ocean. It's a way for couples to de-stress after the big day. Seattle's top-rated wedding photographer is here today to tell us about that and some other ways brides are t breaking the mold these days. Please welcome Clayne Gessel. Okay, so trash the dress. It sounds yes. sort of scary, but what is this trend? Yes. Trash the dress is a is a trend that's up and coming. It allows brides to let their hair down, to kind of say to everybody that the wedding is over, breaking convention and also um, adding something to their to their wedding albums that's different and unique. Doing something that most brides would typically never do to never their dress. dream of doing. Because you don't even want to be around dust when you're wearing that wedding dress. Right. Right. Let alone, what, what are some of the things that you've photographed? Um, long rolling time? around in the mud, jumping <laughs> into the ocean, surfing, snowboarding, um, in the rain. Amazing. Yeah. And is it sort of um, cathartic for these women to just say, I'm done, let's move on to the marriage now, the wedding is over? Yeah, yeah. That's great. Definitely. Okay, so another trend that people are starting to do more and more in terms of photography is seeing each other before the ceremony, mm -hmm. which was this tradition that you absolutely do not. Right. Most couples... Um, have preferred to to wait for the first look when uh, when the bride is walking down the aisle, and now they like to see each other before and get the photos out of the way, which is great. And um, and then they can they can actually mingle with their guests during the cocktail hour rather than leaving to go do photos. And you can still catch that moment of seeing the bride for the first time. It's not just not necessarily going down the right, aisle. Right. Exactly. And and I've done that in in all sorts of different locations. Okay, dual dresses. What is mm -hmm. this about? Dual dresses. With so many fashionable options and, and great prices out there, most brides want the option of having an extra dress. And so they, they do the elegant dress for the ceremony and then they, they change into a cocktail dress for the, the reception. 
people are, are budgeting for this because things can be affordable, but wedding dresses, I mean, let's be honest, those are still, they those can are. run thousands of dollars. They are. Yeah, yeah, it's actually, I've been surprised at how many brides prefer to do this. And do they want photos of each to sort of show the transition from mm -hmm. very elegant Absolutely. and ceremonial? Definitely. What, have you had anybody trash the dual dresses? Maybe that's a new trend <laughs> coming up. Trash the dual dresses. Stay <laughs> tuned for that one. <laughs> okay, destination weddings. These yes. have been around for a while, but you're mm -hmm. seeing more of these? A lot more of them. Um, yes, couples that live in Seattle are often going to Hawaii or um, Baja California, Florida, all over the place because they want um, an intimate wedding with the supreme vistas of a different area. It seems like that might be more expensive, but is the thinking lots of people are going to have to travel for our wedding anyway, regardless of where it is? It is. It is. Most people are coming in from, you know, Alabama or New York, so if they have to travel anyway, they might as well travel to a place that they that they pick. And I guess yeah. as a wedding photographer, that's one of the perks of your job that you if you have to accompany them to Hawaii. If then, I have to, if right. I yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And so where have you shot destination weddings? Um, I've here? shot in Hawaii, I've shot in Florida, New York, um, San Diego, Las Vegas is a really popular one all over the place. I can imagine it would yeah. be. Okay, another big trend, which is a trend across the Northwest, weddings aside, is going green. Yes. So what does that mean in terms of, you're not talking about like a compo compostable wedding dress or something no. like that. What does it mean in terms of <laughs> photography? Most brides are looking for green venues. It was a, a big issue. It was in the Seattle Bride um, last year, Seattle Bride magazine, about brides and where they can find green venues, green photographers, um, photographers that shoot digital are definitely going green. Film uses a lot of chemicals and it uses a lot of processes in, in um, developing the pictures. So going green and using um, green, green designers, green uh, materials for your wedding is definitely a, a big trend. So when I um, got married and we got our photographs eight years ago, aka a bazillion years ago <laughs> now in terms of technology, we had to buy the negatives but you offer something different that's right. along the green line. Right, a disc or a digital download where there is no disc, where you can just download your pictures anywhere in the world without using materials. Very cool. And while you're here, we should mention that although weddings are sort of the predominant thing that you do, you do landscape photography, a number of other things, mm -hmm. but you also do something um, that would be considered charity work for families with children with cystic fibrosis. What I is do. That? I do. Um, I do photo shoots for families that have been affected by cystic fibrosis. It's, it started when... Um, my best friend, one of my best friends has cystic fibrosis and I've seen the way that he's been affected by it. So to be able to give the opportunity to those families affected by it to, to capture the memories has just been such a blessing. And your photos, I should say, I, I've seen many of them and they are really beautiful and unconventional. And so I would imagine that for brides and for families like that, it's a spectacular thing to be able to see yourself in a completely different way, yeah, a different vision of definitely. yourself. Thank okay. you. Thanks for being with us, Clayne. We appreciate it. And Thank if you, you would like to check out more of Clayne's photography or learn more about his work with CF, you can do it on our website, king5.com slash new day. Up next, a YouTube sensation from right here in Washington is up for her own Food Network show. She's whipping up something quick and delicious for us next.